Hey guys, Taylor here in Guangzhou again. Welcome to another episode of Guangzhou Uncovered. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about something that I hold very close to my heart, and that is Japanese food. You're probably thinking, why is he talking about Japanese food? Doesn't he live in China? You're right, I do live in China, but there's some really awesome Japanese food in Guangzhou. Uh, today, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite restaurants, not only in Guangzhou, but one of my favorite restaurants anywhere that I've ever been in the world. And this restaurant is called Tairo Teppanyaki. And as you may guess, it's a Japanese restaurant. And it's all you can eat. And it's all you can drink, yes. Unlimited drinks. And I'm not just talking about juice and water and soda, whatever, I'm talking about alcohol. Unlimited booze, beer, red wine, white wine, sake, hot and cold whatever you like to go with your amazing Japanese food. So it's a perfect place to go for a birthday party or with the guys for a couple drinks, yeah, or before a night out actually, it's a great place to pre-drink. <laughs> or if you just want to have a nice lunch and some nice hot sake with your sushi, that's a great place. Uh, so today I'm going to take you there, I'm going to show you a little bit of Tyro, and then, uh, yeah, I will catch up with you later. See you guys. Hey guys, so just got back from Tyro. Um, I was going to film this part in Tyro, that's, that was my plan, but it was really loud in there and uh, I just thought maybe this would be better because you could hear me. Uh, as you can see, some great food there. Uh, had some sushi, some sashimi, some teppanyaki, uh, a little bit of sake, uh, just a great place. And uh, I showed you a little bit of the menu. All that stuff there in the menu, that's all you can eat, part of the all you can eat menu. Uh, so you can see they have a lot of stuff to choose from. Um, the price per person is about 180 RMB. Uh, it's a little less than $40 Canadian per person. 
uh, which I think is a very good deal actually because you get, like I said, you get unlimited food and unlimited booze and it includes alcohol which is a very, very good deal. Uh, also the quality of the food, uh, such as the sashimi, uh, is very, very good. Very, very fresh fish. Um, they, all the food is just excellent. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of Japanese food and if you're in Guangzhou and looking for a good Japanese place to eat. Um, you know, because a lot of times there, there, are, there are many Japanese places in Guangzhou, but uh, they're not all, all you can eat. Um, you might go to a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, and get sushi, uh, and it'd be, it'll be the same quality as Tyro, but you're, you're gonna end up paying more than you would um, for an all you can eat uh, dinner at Tyro. So uh, it's definitely a great deal. Uh, if you're wondering where it is, if you're in Guangzhou, it's in Zhujiang New Town, uh, exit A2 of the metro station. Come out of the metro station at exit A2, make a right, and it's two minutes away. Uh, if you can see, you can see at the beginning of this video, uh, on our way there, I showed you a little bit coming out of the metro and how to get there. Very easy to get to. Uh, definitely got to check it out. I definitely think it is one of the hidden gems in Guangzhou because not everybody knows about it. When I tell people about it, uh, some people that have been here for years, they've never heard of it. And when I tell them, oh, it's all you can eat and all you can drink and for that such a great price, then they're so surprised and they definitely they go check it out after. So, uh, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I just wanted to show you another one of my favorite places in Guangzhou, another one of the hidden gems of Guangzhou. Um, yeah, if you like this video, if you found it interesting, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos on life in China and uh, some more of the hidden gems in my city, Guangzhou. Alright guys, so this is Taylor in Guangzhou. I'll see you next time.